What does it truly mean to be saved? Understanding salvation is vital, and it begins with recognizing the core of the gospel, beautifully summarized in 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4. Here, the Apostle Paul outlines that salvation comes through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He states, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. This passage emphasizes that our faith in Jesus as our Savior is fundamental to salvation. To grasp this concept fully, we must first acknowledge that we are all sinners in need of grace. Romans 3 verse 23 tells us, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This truth highlights our separation from God due to sin. However, the good news is that through Jesus, we can find reconciliation and restoration. Accepting his sacrifice for our sins is paramount, John 3 verse 16 reassures us of God's immense love and his desire for our salvation when it states, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This belief is not just intellectual, it requires a heartfelt trust in Jesus as the one who can save us. Upon believing in this message from 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4, something remarkable happens, believers are immediately sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Ephesians 1 verse 13 affirms this truth by stating that when we hear the gospel and believe in Christ, we are sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption. This sealing signifies God's ownership over us and assures us of his presence in our lives. Repentance is also essential as it involves turning away from our sinful behaviors and turning toward God. Acts 3 verse 19 encourages us by saying, Repent, then, and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. This change of heart leads to a transformation in how we live. Declaring your faith in Christ is crucial as well. Romans 10 verses 9 to 10 emphasizes this by stating, If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This confession is an outward expression of an inward belief. Baptism serves as a powerful demonstration of our faith in action. While baptism itself does not save us, our faith in Jesus does, it symbolizes our identification with Christ's death and resurrection, Romans 6 verses 3 to 4. Through baptism, we publicly declare our commitment to follow Jesus and signify the beginning of our new life in Him. Salvation is a precious gift from God that we receive through faith in Jesus Christ. It involves recognizing our need for forgiveness, believing in His redemptive work on the cross, repenting of our sins, confessing Him as Lord, and publicly expressing our faith through baptism. As we reflect on these truths, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your incredible love and grace. I acknowledge my sins and ask for your forgiveness through Jesus Christ. I believe he died for me and rose again to give me new life. Help me to follow him faithfully and live out my faith through my actions each day. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen.